Hey, hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're gonna be finishing up the tutorial series in the Cessna Longitude. So if you wanna know how to do an approach and landing in the Cessna Longitude, then I think you should stay tuned right here on 2020 Flight Simmers. To boldly go where no one has gone before. Quiet out there. Uh, too quiet. Looks like I picked the wrong week to quit sniffing blue. Hey, welcome back to the cockpit, everyone. We are now starting our final approach from our VNAV descent on our arrival. We are just getting ready to pass, or we just passed Ladura on our way to Fluff, and we need to head down to 10,000 feet. We're gonna make sure we get that vertical speed. We're a little behind the glide slope here, and you can see that right there. So once we start our turn and get to Ajax, we will be just about ready to activate our Nav-1. But until the Nav-1 actually populates down here to show us that it has caught the Nav-1 frequency for the ILS-34, we're not gonna activate it. There we go. It just captured the ILS for 30. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn our heading course to the GPS heading. I'm gonna show you why here in a second. And we're just going to adjust our vertical speed a bit. Now again, even though we're below the glide slope, we're still going to stop at 10,000 feet. Our next flight restriction is at 9,000 feet here, so... And I don't believe that's for a little bit. Now what I want to do is I'm going to switch in heading hold mode. Now the plane is going to be following our heading hold. We're going to come over here to the nav source, flip that to nav 1, it's now pulled the localizer frequency up. Now we're gonna come back to the top and tap the nav button. This way it doesn't mess up when you go to switch over to nav one frequency when you're in GPS mode. So now our next flight restriction is 9,000 feet. That just came up here on the screen. So all we need to do is get ready. We set our altitude for 9,000 feet. We're watching the time to top of descent over here is 15 seconds. Our finger is on the vertical speed button, ready to go. Five, four, three. Now you're also gonna notice that because we switched to nav mode, that magenta the line went away and now we're left with the green ILS marker. Okay, so now that we have that up on the screen and we're about ready for approach, we're gonna now arm the approach by hitting the arm button. You're gonna see glide slope populate up here but it will not capture that glide slope until we get to that final approach fix, which was at winter. So. We still have to maintain our proper glide path down. Okay, so it looks like we just intercepted the glide slope because you can see glide slope is now highlighted in green. We are on our way down. It is. Oh, and by the way, if this is your first time joining us on the channel, I'd love to welcome you. Don't forget to go down below and hit that subscribe and tick that little bell. And if this video does help you out today, a thumbs up would be fantastic. So we're just going to come down to the speed and make sure that we get our speed down to uh, appropriate speed. Now, we should have been at 250 knots already. Stryker, you're coming in too fast. I know, I know. He knows, he knows. So we're just gonna set this for about 185 knots. Now to help us get down there, we're just gonna come down here to the speed brakes and apply the speed brakes. Oh, 
cannot let out that landing gear yet until we get our speed down. Oh, and by the way, if you missed our other two videos, then I'll post links down below. Then go ahead and watch those because we went over the GPS, how to set up the VNAV, as well as our ascent to 27,000, all the way down to our approach. So I highly recommend to check those out if you haven't seen those already. Sound your alarm bell now. All right, now everybody, get in crash position. Okay, now that we are down to speed, we are going to set us down to about 175 knots, give us two layers of flaps, so we're down on notch two of flaps. We brought back the speed brake. I'm also going to come down here and arm our speed brakes for once we land. Now we're going to put down the landing gear, make sure the landing lights are on. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is I don't like everything automated so I'm going to disengage the auto throttle and that is right here on the side. So we're just going to hit that button and you're going to see the speed drop off right on our autopilot panel. Now I'm manually going to control the throttles all the way in. Put down 30 degrees of flap. And I'm going to disengage the autopilot. It's all over the place. 900 feet up to 1,300 feet. What an asshole. Yep, see, I took my eye off the road. Strikers, lift your nose. Straighten your wings. It's coming in too fast. Watch your speed. He's coming right at us! You're too low, Fifteen. Pull back on the reversers. Give us a little breaks. are off all right folks so I think that's gonna just about wrap us up for the video today if you guys have any questions please post those down in the comments and if you haven't subscribed yet make sure while you're down there you hit that subscribe button and tick that little bell if this video did help you out or you just plain like watching it smash on that thumbs up button it is greatly appreciated well to all my flight simmer friends around the world Keep the blue side up, and we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.